Jan Easton, born on July 12, 1932, in the city of New York, emerged as a bright and talented actress who captivated audiences throughout the 1950s. From a young age, Jan harbored a passionate love for acting, a fire that burned within her. She devoted years of study and hard work to turn this dream into a reality. Elizabeth Montgomery was an actress who rose as a true icon on screens during the vibrant 1960s. Her artistic legacy was remarkable, as she was the daughter of the legendary film actor, Robert Montgomery, which provided her with a profound connection to the entertainment industry from birth. In the heat of the June summer in 1940, in the city of Belle Glade, Florida, a bustling and adventure-filled scene was unfolding. During this time, local teenagers eagerly gathered to embark on their thrilling journeys aboard their jalopies, old cars typically known for their ruggedness and adventurous spirit. In the year 1910, in the city of Pelston, located in the state of Michigan, a truly fascinating innovation captured the attention and curiosity of both locals and visitors. Bicycles that rode on railway tracks. This peculiar and inventive form of transportation quickly became a sensation and won the hearts of many. Angie Dickinson, a notable actress, emerged as a prominent figure who gained fame and recognition during the vibrant 1960s. During this period, Angie not only solidified her career as a versatile and charismatic performer, but also became an icon of the silver screen. In the year 1971, traveling aboard the upper deck of a Qantas Airways plane, the Boeing 747 provided an experience that transcended mere transportation and evoked a genuine sense of luxury and exclusivity. As passengers ascended the elegant staircase that led them to the upper deck, they were greeted by a sophisticated and refined ambiance. In the 1980s, an authentic gold rush was unleashed in the legendary Serra Pallada, located in Brazil. This frenzy attracted thousands of adventurers and prospectors in search of wealth and hope, transforming the region into a scene of intense activity. Situated in the state of Para, Serra Pallada emerged as an icon of the era. In 1955 in North Yorkshire, a majestic steam train was gracefully crossing the San Send Viaduct, located near the town of Whitby. This moment spectacularly captured the grandeur and nostalgia of railway travel of the time, as the steam locomotive glistened under the expansive sky and the stunning coastal views. In the elegant and luxurious setting of the late 19th century, the Canadian Pacific Railway provided its distinguished passengers with a truly unparalleled travel experience aboard an exquisite lounge car. Around 1884, this sophisticated service was a highlight of the railway company, setting new standards of excellence. Cloris Leachman, an exceptional actress, charted her remarkable path in the entertainment industry in the late 1940s. With innate talent and impressive versatility, she illuminated both the silver screen and television screens with her unforgettable performances. In 1910, a gigantic ocean sunfish was captured in the waters surrounding Santa Catalina Island, located in beautiful California. This impressive specimen was estimated to weigh an astonishing 1,590 kilograms solidifying the ocean sunfish's reputation as one of the largest species of bony fish inhabiting our oceans. In June 1961, the world was introduced to an incredibly thin television screen, measuring a mere four inches in thickness. This technological marvel promised to radically transform the way people enjoyed television, blending an elegant and compact design with advanced features that opened up new horizons in home entertainment. In the year 1963, on the film sets of the epic Cleopatra, widely recognized as the most expensive film ever produced up to that date, a rare moment of relaxation was captured behind the scenes. Female extras, dressed in stunning period costumes that recreated the ancient Egyptian civilization, took a brief break on the set. Dorothy Smith, a legendary figure who shone in the 1930s and 1940s, was widely recognized as one of the leading female stuntwomen of Hollywood's golden age. Her remarkable career as a stunt double led her to be part of some of the most iconic action scenes in the cinema of that era, and her courage and skill were admired throughout the industry. Jenny Gutter, the talented British actress, emerged as a popular culture figure in the 1970s. Her brilliant career and captivating presence propelled her to stardom during that decade, and her influence left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In 1932, in the city of Tokyo, Japan, the public and the press were captivated by a truly innovative figure. Yasutaro Mitsui, 
and his impressive humanoid steel robot. In an era when robotics was still in its infancy as a field of study and exploration, Mitsui stood out as a true pioneer. In the spring of 1968, Western Electric, a prominent telecommunications company, surprised the world by unveiling its latest technological breakthrough, the photographic telephone. Through an exciting and truly innovative announcement, the company introduced this revolutionary combination of a telephone and camera. In 1919, shortly after the end of World War I, an extraordinary event unfolded on Hastings Beach, located on the coast of England. A German submarine that had been captured during the war and was being towed to France for dismantling had an unexpected fate when the tow line that held it on its journey snapped. Around 1900, a postcard captured the industrial landscape of Long Beach in sunny California, showcasing the impressive oil field that stretched across the region. This postcard not only documented the expansion of the oil industry, but also depicted the vibrant and bustling environment of the area at that time. Joan Collins, born on May 23, 1933, in the vibrant city of London, England, emerged as an iconic figure in the cultural scene of the 1950s. With her stunning beauty, captivating charisma, and undeniable talent, she gained fame as an actress and became a true symbol of glamour during the golden era of Hollywood. In the 1980s, a truly memorable moment occurred when Andre the Giant, the famous French-American professional wrestler and a legendary figure in the annals of wrestling, boarded an airplane. The Giant, known for his imposing stature and charismatic personality, captivated the world with his skills in the ring and his iconic presence. In the year 1912, at a pub in the heart of Wales, a group of coal miners, still covered in dirt from their strenuous journeys deep within the mines, gathered to discuss the imminent and crucial coal strike movement that was about to erupt. In the year 1987, a phenomenon in the fashion and footwear industry known as LA Gear burst onto the urban scene. The brand, founded in the vibrant city of Los Angeles, California, quickly established itself as an icon of 1980s style and streetwear. In the year 1937, the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade dazzled the crowds with its grandeur and spectacle. By this time, the tradition had already been firmly established as one of the most anticipated events of the year in New York City. With its enormous balloons, elaborate floats, talented performers, and an unparalleled festive spirit, the Macy's Parade delighted and brought together people of all ages. In the mid-1970s, Victoria Principal emerged as one of the leading actresses and style icons of the decade. During this period, she became a prominent figure in the entertainment industry gaining recognition in both films and television series, while also captivating the audience with her elegance and charisma. The image depicts one of the darkest moments in the history of the Empire State Building. On July 28, 1945, an airplane operated by a pilot who lost visibility due to dense fog tragically collided with the iconic skyscraper in New York. This terrible collision resulted in a tragedy that claimed lives and caused significant damage to the building's structure. In February 1947, in Playa Vista, California, a bustling and activity-filled environment surrounded the construction of the colossal wooden aircraft known as the Hughes H-4 Hercules, or affectionately referred to as the Spruce Goose. This epic aerospace project was one of the most remarkable achievements in aeronautical engineering of its time. Around 1912, an iconic photograph captured a special moment of the Godreau family in Canada. In this timeless image, the seven Gaudreau sisters posed together, creating a charming and touching portrait of the deep bond they shared as a family. In July 1905, in the charming city of Pueblo, Colorado, an exciting and adrenaline-filled event took place to entertain the crowd gathered to celebrate the holiday. Eunice Padfield, a skilled and fearless equestrian, performed an impressive acrobatic horse dive into the water. King Bear, a prominent Sioux apostle of the ghost dance religion, played a significant role within his community. The ghost dance was a sacred and meaningful ceremony, intertwined with various Native American traditions and belief systems, representing a fundamental aspect of their spirituality and culture. We've come to the end of our video. Please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. Click on one of the other videos on the screen to continue your journey back in time.